This Ludum Dare, the theme was Stuck in a Loop, and I figured a lot of people were going to make Groundhog Day games or existential crisis simulators, so I started thinking more about physical loops that you can get stuck in. On my last Ludum Dare entry, Human Spiderweb, someone mentioned that the gameplay reminded them of the game Red Rope Don't Fall Behind, a game where you control two characters with a rope tied between them and you can wrap the rope around enemies to kill them. I thought it would be cool to make something similar for this jam, so I came up with the idea to have a game where you shoot a string that bounces around the map and you can wrap it around enemies to kill them. Then I thought maybe the rope is actually electric and charges when the end returns to you which would add another layer of challenge. I decided to name the game Death String because you have a string that causes death. So, good enough. So, day one. To start, I put together a test map and a character with basic top-down movement. Then made a projectile you shoot that uses a basic mirror algorithm to bounce, and you can click to make it return to you. Then I made rigid body points spool out behind it, clamped the distance between each point, and drew a line through them all to get a nice looking rope effect. Next, I added some simple test enemies, a slow zombie type and a charging type, and made so if enough the rope is touching them while it's connected to you, they die. I also made some jibs for when they die. Jibs work pretty simply. They move in a random direction for a random time, and also move up and down following a curve to make them look like they're bouncing. At this point, the game was starting to feel pretty fun. Day 2, time for art. For the first time ever, I collaborated with other people in a game jam. Trix, a super talented pixel artist on Twitter, made the art assets for Death String. He made some environment assets and came up with some fun demon designs for the enemies. I implemented those and added in player health and made you take damage and go invincible for a short time when an enemy touches you. I also put in some health pickups that can heal you or increase your max HP. HP. Then I made a lightning effect which will appear when you reconnect with the end of the rope and then amped it up for a short time right after you kill an enemy. The way the lightning effect works is when I'm going to draw the rope I get each point and offset it along its tangent by a random amount and then draw a line through all those points with a lightning color. On the suggestion of my livestream chat I also added in some screen shake when the string electrocutes and a lot of screen shake when it kills an enemy. After that I put together a bunch of levels including a tutorial and made a portal that will take you to the next level but only opens after you kill all the enemies in your current level. Day 3, I put together a boss fight. The way it works is there are blobs surrounding a central mass and you have to destroy all the blobs while avoiding projectiles, the center part shoots, and enemies that are spawning around the map. Once you've killed all the blobs, the center part starts shooting massive energy balls that bounce around the map and you have to electrocute them so that they'll hurt the boss if they hit it. Once you've done enough damage this way, it will die. Originally I'd wanted to make so that you have to actually grab the energy balls with a string and pull them back to the boss, but I couldn't get the rope physics working right so I scrapped that mechanic. Tricks them then sent over some art assets including the player character. We decided to have it be a robot to look more visually distinctive from the enemies and it fit the electric theme. I also made a cool screen wipe effect on level transitions and added in some visual post processing like bloom and contrast. Then I made some ranged enemies that shoot small energy projectiles at you and wander randomly in between shots. Finally I polished up the level design and my work was pretty much complete. Day 4, the game jam was almost over and my friend Prahlad was finally free to do sound design for the game. He crunched out a whole bunch of sound effects and a couple music tracks for the game that I quickly implemented, and the game was done. Unfortunately, Trix's internet went out, so he wasn't able to send me the last sprites, and I had to use some placeholders, but the game was done, and pretty sick in my opinion, and from the comments I've gotten so far, it seems like a lot of other people feel the same way. There are some major problems, a lot of people reported severe lag when the rope got too long, and screen shake bugging out and going all over the map, which I think is tied to the lag, but I can't be bothered to debug it at this point. Thanks for watching, if you want to play the game, link in the description, I also streamed a bunch of the jam, I'll have a link to a playlist with all the archive streams in the description as well. Be sure to follow Trix on Twitter and pull out on YouTube. He also uploaded the full OST of Death String on his channel. And if you'd like to support me so I can keep making games and videos like this, check out my game development courses. Links for those down below as well.